Welcome, welcome, my loves. This is a place of healing. This is a place of love and an absolute no judgment zone. Just a reminder, when you guys tune into this reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. If it is not your story, please do not try to make it fit. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this reading. Love you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome back, and welcome to another reading, you guys. So this is more of a intuitive message, and I will definitely pull some tarot on it and some oracle cards. All right, you guys. So I was meditating this morning, and throughout my meditation, Spirit was showing me a lot of disturbing shit. I'm not even going to lie. Spirit was showing me a lot of different things because I started tuning into my subscribers um you guys i am so thankful for you guys choosing my channel to subscribe to it means so much to me i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for being here without you guys there is no me without you there you know it's it's a it's a cycle i feel like healing goes both ways and i feel like the healers heal but the people also heal the healers because you guys are allowing us to be able to do our light working duties. All right, you guys. So when I was meditating, spirit was showing me a lot. And I don't know who on the channel this resonated is going to resonate for. But, you know, please comment, let me know, and take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, you guys? So when I was meditating, spirit was telling me a evil practitioner and this evil practitioner spirit was telling me that there was there was at least five divine feminines that was going to a practitioner and maybe you guys are from a small town maybe you guys are from a small place i i don't know you know spirit i'm just going with what spirit showing me now for the person who got fucked over by a practitioner pretty much i want you guys to know during my meditations this morning, Divine showed me some very nasty practitioners. Practitioners that played both sides. Spirit showed me a divine feminine who was under attack and going to going through pretty much spiritual warfare because of this karmic. So this karmic was doing work on this divine feminine. And um, Spirit showed me that somebody pretty much recommended, okay, well, divine feminine i know the so-and-so practitioner maybe you should go to them and maybe you should you know try them out maybe they will help you so either they were recommended by a friend a family member along the lines of that now you guys did not know this practitioner before you guys did not know who this was this was your first time going to this practitioner you did not know their their reputation spirit did show me um a dominican woman a Cuban woman, and I was getting a Haitian man. So I strongly, 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 the practitioners were Cuban. So there was a Cuban woman, a Dominican woman, and a Haitian man. So spirit showed me specifically a Haitian man and a woman. So I know that for a fact, some of you guys might have went to a practitioner that was a woman or a, a man, you know, take it as it resonates. Now, what you didn't know, that there was a karmic Hamara, her sister-in-law, is what I'm getting. Switch the roles, the genders, if you must, okay? But those three, for a fact, so a karmic, a mother, and a sister-in-law. So the mother of the karmic and the sister-in-law to the karmic. Spirit showed me all parties in this situation going to the, the same practitioner. Now, the spirit did show me the three different practitioners. So however it fits your story. Now, let me tell you guys something. While you were going to this practitioner, the karmic was also going to this practitioner. Now, the crazy fucked up thing about this whole shit is, picture this. The whole time this practitioner is trying not to only take this karmic's money and your money, but they were also trying to keep the divine feminine as slaves to a cycle. So if this practitioner could have kept you in a cycle of going back and going back and going back to her what spirit was showing me was she was energy harvesting off of you guys what she was doing divine feminine 
was not only trying to keep you in a cycle and a slave to her, but she was feeding off of your energy. Because I'm guessing that spirit was showing me she was behind her back. She was taking the money. I mean, in front of her, she was taking the money behind her back. She had her fingers crossed like this and she was grabbing like, hey, give me the money. Give me the money. Ha ha ha. And she was smiling in the karmic's face. And then spirit showed me doing it again. She was doing it again to the divine feminine. So, of course, that signifies a lot, a lot a lot of heavy work. I started seeing frogs. I started seeing all types of shit. I'm not even gonna lie. Spirit showed me a lot of different things. Listen, you guys did not know the whole time this practitioner was playing both of y'all and how you were under attack. How was you supposed to know? I mean, divine, I'm guessing the divine, you know, might have woke up and said hey guys wake up i'm gonna need y'all to realize that this person ain't good for you it does show that you guys end up waking up to okay yeah this this practitioner isn't working out for me maybe all of the work they were doing wasn't good enough or maybe you were supposed to be protected and while you were protected the karmic still was able to hit you that let you know oh intuitively oh my gosh maybe this isn't a good reader maybe this isn't a good um practitioner maybe this isn't a good healer maybe this isn't a good person that i'm going to you know what i'm saying so you guys might have woke up to it and some of you guys still haven't woken up to it this is pretty much spirit letting you know hey if you are going to a practitioner i want you to make sure that you are not going to the same practitioner as your karmic and if you are i want you to literally keep this as a you know, one up. This is giving you a one up to knowing, ah, damn, no, this is confirmation to know that the person that I was going to wasn't shit. Literally, all she wanted to do was gain her wealth and status in the community from this. So you were a leg up. You were a stepping stool. So pretty much you were on all fours and this, this practitioner was stepping on you and you guys thought, oh, shit, she was supposed to be helping me. This person was supposed to be helping me. Meanwhile, the DM is literally walking around like the walking dead, a puppet, because this karmic and this karmic practitioner has done so I'm not saying all practitioners are bad, you guys, but for this practitioner, you guys literally thought that you were going to better to get better. And the only thing you found out was or is going to find out is this practitioner was shit and she was playing you the whole fucking time literally playing you for money for her gain you guys don't even know you might have been in a community where this where there was somebody that was leeching off of you guys the the karmic the karmic is just doing too much fucking work at this point the karmic is doing way too much work spirit let's go ahead and get some tarot spirit spirit go ahead and give me some tarot on this the devil ha, the devil spirit you are always so on it thank you spirit the devil. Yeah, she was a fucking devil. This practitioner was a devil and death. For some of them, death is coming towards them because they know they fucked with divine people. They know they fuck with divine people. You cannot fuck with divine people. Their ancestors gonna get in y'all ass. Them angels gonna be like, oh, hell nah. Not that one. Not that one. Y'all could go get them low vibrational people if y'all want, but not mine. Temperance in reverse. Exactly. They're upset that they can no longer leech off of you. They're upset that you're waking up to the bullshit. Literally, three of cups in reverse. You're waking up to, oh, this is not a celebration. This is really some fuck shit. I was celebrating thinking that I was going to get healed. But bitch, nah. Sometimes we got to learn that we are our own guru. We are our own healer. We have to find that Chiron in our, our chart and apply that to our life sometimes on our own spirit sometimes wants us to learn that inner healer i've had to learn it many times i promise y'all that i've gone through some things thank you spirit the tower and two of cups they were literally playing two sides look at how y'all looking at each other y'all was sitting there attacking each other while this 
practitioner was like, haha, I got them. Not only am I taking their money, but I can feed off of the, 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 the entity from this karmic brought me a perfect vessel. The entity this karmic had. Oh my gosh, she was so shitty. She brought me a divine feminine on my plate. Yum, yum. <laughs> Literally. Using y'all. But she gonna get hers. He, she. Yeah. Ten of wands. Thank you, spirit. You are so always on point, spirit. Ten of wands. They gonna get theirs. They gonna get theirs. These practitioners that been hexing fucking divine people for no reason. Y'all wonder why shit going on in your life? You cannot get up and just hex people. You do not know their, their lineage. You do not know who they are. I promise you that. If you thought you knew who what somebody was, you do not know who they are. Secrets in reverse. This is coming out. And there is no stopping it. King of Pentacles in reverse. There is no stopping it. It is coming out and it is coming out in raw form. Everybody's going to know. This practitioner, damn, I thought she was good. Look, she over there fucking people over. Look at what she did. It's coming to the light. Everything is coming to the light. Spirit ain't playing no more. Spirit don't got no time for these fucking games no more with these people. They really don't. These karmics doing all of this shit justice. Spirit don't got no time for these people no more. Justice. If you thought I was lying, it flipped out in your face. My spirit guides are awesome. Justice. Gonna come to this situation. Five of Wands. No matter how much they fight you, the justice is coming. No matter how much they fight to not have this in the public, it's coming out to the public. No matter what. Spirit is not playing this game with nobody no more. It is going to come to light. Everything that has happened is going to come to light. Everything that has happened with this karmic is going to come to light. Everything that has happened with this practitioner is going to come to light. Everything that has been happening is going to start coming to light. And people are going to be like, oh, shit. I can't believe I was believing a lie this whole time. Some people are going to be like, damn. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more energies. Thank you, Spirit. Strength. And the Magician. If y'all thought I was fucking lying, Strength and the Magician. Strength and the Magician. This practitioner ain't shit. Y'all gotta have strength to overcome this magic. Y'all gotta have strength to overcome this magic. Go take a bath. Go start clearing this shit off. Go start getting this off of you. Spirit will give you the strength to do it. I promise you. Spirit will give you the strength to get over all of this. Go into meditation mode. Go within. Figure out in your chart why this person was your karmic and start healing from it. Let me tell you something. It will be life changing. If you need help, let me know. If you need help knowing where to find it, let me know. Four of Cups. Go within. Meditate. You are your own guru. You are. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All of this shit is coming back to them. The bad luck and all of the fucking fuck shit that they tried to put on the high priestess is coming back to them. Because you cannot touch a high priestess. You can't just go around fucking with who you want to fuck with. You, their Wheel of Fortune, this, this, this practitioner's Wheel of Fortune and the Karmic's Wheel of Fortune is literally in reverse. Their bad luck is going to continue to hit them for fucking with this high priestess. I'm talking about generational curses, curses on the children. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but I want, I'm very real and I will not be fake. When you guys do fuck shit, I'm not saying you guys, <laughs> but when people do fuck shit to you guys, let me tell you guys something. That shit don't fly with the divine. It's going to come back and hit you like a ton of bricks fucking with a divine person. Fucking with a high priestess. Fucking with an empress. Fucking with a goddess in her energy that's here doing the work. The divine is not going to stand for it for much longer. This person might have to learn a lesson. Like, oh, yeah, I have to learn a lesson to love myself more. To not, you know, go through this type of shit no more. Yes, I had to definitely do that. Yes, it was painful. But the divine is going to bless them. In every lesson, there is a blessing. But let me tell y'all something. When you just out here fucking over God's people, bad luck going to come to you. 
What do you expect? Everything, all the death rituals, turning the back, the graveyard rituals, the egg rituals, all of that shit is coming back to this practitioner. Mainly because not only was she doing work for the karmic, but this bitch took it a step further and was like, let me feed off of this divine feminine's energy. And that is when the divine was like, oh, hell no. This, this shit has gone way too fucking far. This shit is, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> It has gone too far. It has gone on too long. Spirit is like, I am not allowing this to happen to my people anymore. Woke the divine feminines up. Said, come on, step into your power. Some of you guys' ancestors was like, come on, step into your power now, guys. Go and fuck this, fuck this all up. Fuck this shit up. <laughs> fuck it all up. <laughs> step into your power. Because y'all, y'all know once you step into your own power, y'all going to start fucking shit up. Y'all don't play. You gonna start grinding harder, getting your shit together, getting your money together. You start healing. You know, spirit is also telling me with this hermit, they want you to get the residue of this practitioner off of you. So some of you guys need to take a bath. Some of you guys need to go down to your store. Let me tell y'all something. Get some Himalayan salt, get some um, sea salt, and get some Epsom salt. Get you some cilantro, throw it in there, and literally soak your body. Get all of that extra energy off of you. Get all of that negative residue, anything that had to do with this practitioner. You guys need to start doing different things like maybe yoga to start getting that out of your body, getting it out of your muscles. Because you guys know everything is energy. Everything is energy. We are light beams. Everything we come across, touch, it is energy. It brings a certain vibration to the place. It brings a certain vibration to your life. Now, let me tell you guys something. Cleanse your energy from this practitioner. Spirit is saying do shadow work, do clearing, and literally get away. Get the fuck away from this practitioner and this karmic. Get away. You have to start healing because when they're going through their karma, if you are not far enough away from this, doing your divine duties, you're going to get caught up into their karma. And that's not even fair to you. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I really appreciate it. I hope if this resonated with you, go ahead and look at my more like whatever else content I have that might resonate with you guys. <laughs> Alrighty. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and visit my channel for more of my content, you guys. Bye.